everybody, this is Chris Dark with Coach Dark Homes, and it is the winter, which means it is basketball season again. And I'm here in a place that I love to be, which is the gym, and couldn't be more happy to promote a couple programs this year. And one of the ones that we're gonna be promoting today is Yonker Girls Basketball. I'm here with Coach Thompson. Coach, thanks so much for having me. Thanks for being out. Now, what one thing that, that's amazing that you're here um, is that you are a new mom. Congratulations. Thank you. I got a newborn headed into the season. I don't know how that's gonna go, but it's a it's a wild run. I remember when like when I had Hayden, um, I just got the Notre Dame gig and I remember being away and it was tough. And so like How's work-life balance? Are you sleeping <laughs> at night? Like, how's it going so far? We're running on caffeine right now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now, with uh, this being year two here in the program for you, um, you know, and I know the first year is, is always kind of a, just kind of a keep your head above water type thing. What have you seen that you really like from year one at this point to right now? Yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of um, things that we've been able to look at to measure growth in our program. That's kind of the phase we're in is growing. Um, and one of them has been the um, consistency and the amount of girls that were with us all off season from March all the way through November. We had the biggest off season group that Yonkers had. Um, that's been huge for us. And the other thing is our girls have really connected a ton off the court. Um, they were eating lunch every day together. That's awesome. They're hanging out outside of school together. So um, we're, our, our, our building is looking good right now. I know, like talking to you before, culture is a big deal with you. And I, I was always, you know, believed in culture was a huge aspect to the program. What do you do with your girls to try to promote culture, or, or what are the type of things that you have been happy with with your culture and your program? Yeah, one of the things we're really like a people first is is kind of our motto around here. We just love each other first, um, and we love the girls really hard. One of the things culture-wise we've been trying to do a lot, especially here on campus, is we try to get our girls together and go and promote other sports together. Sweet. Um, we went to the volleyball game when they played Washington. Um, just keeping them together, going to support other programs, it's, it's been huge for our culture. Coach, I know that it takes a village, and you have a great staff, and I, I know how important that staff is to you. Why don't you tell everybody about your staff, what makes them so good, and, and more importantly, what that staff does to allow you to kind of get the most out of your ability. Yeah, so our staff this year is really nice because everyone but one coach is coming back from last year. Oh, nice. And the biggest benefit to our program has been the fact that they know these girls and they've built their own relationships with these girls and that has helped our program flourish so much. These kids want to feel connected and when they've got coaches they can come back to that they know already and they trust. Um, that has been so helpful for us. So that really just allows me to kind of um, manage our systems while they're in the mix and working with our girls. Um, so it's been great so far. That's awesome. It's always the goal of every program to make the playoffs. Um, I'm sure yours is no different. You're right there. Um, what do you feel like you need to do um, as a program to just get kind of that next step where all of a sudden we're talking in late January, early February about your playoff position? Yeah, so the nice thing about now being in year two is our girls kind of understand what we're trying to do with our systems in place. And so now this year, our big focus is fine tuning the little things, is really picking apart the details down to the screens we set, um, the angles we're coming off of those. So as detailed as we can be, we're gonna see our systems flourish this year in year two. And hopefully we're gonna be able to win our region being in a new region this year. So yeah, we're, we're excited about that. Now, okay, speaking on the new region a little bit, um, who's new in the region? And, you know, kind of tell us a little bit about the region. When people come and watch the games, they see these different teams. You know, what can you tell us about your new region? So the new region is um, basically it's us and Buckeye are the only teams that we've seen. Okay. Um, we're moving up to 5A this year, so um, it's bigger and it's faster. Um, so these teams that will be playing, Independence and Glendale, Washington, down in Kofa, we've never seen them before. Our program has not played them before. So um, we got some film to watch. Yeah, you, <laughs> you absolutely do. Now, um, when it comes to on the court stuff, 
What are you excited about that you've seen so far? Um, again, kind of comparing year one to year two. Um, you know, what are, what are you excited about on the court product that uh, you know that you can see this year? So this year, um, our girls are fast. We have some girls that are running track in the spring, um, hitting state times. And so this year, one of the things that we're really excited about is getting out and running. Um, that hopefully is going to be our bread and butter this season. Now it's at a week one. Had Saturday practice. Um, how's, how how had the week go? Are you excited about it? Uh, everybody kind of injury free. You know, how's that first week been? It's been probably one of the weirdest week ones we've ever had. Okay. <laughs> we are not injury free. We're full of injuries right now. Oh, no. um, it is winter. We got a couple kids sick. So it's kind of been this weird. We had to totally kind of scrap our vision and our practice plans. And we've had a small group. And that's actually been nice for us um, because we've been able to really do some focus work. Like cool. last night, we had all of our bigs in the gym. So it was great to do some, some of that focus work. It was kind of a blessing in disguise a little bit. kind of finish up a little bit with just kind of a three fun kind of get to know you questions um, and we'll go you can answer them as fast as you can uh, number one and this is always my favorite is what is the first letter of your favorite cuss word um, I'm gonna have to go with F on that one now can you <laughs> throw a, a, a do you throw a noun or an adjective in front of it from time to time or uh, or just just solely just the word itself uh, so it usually just comes out solely the word itself. okay you know? all right fair <laughs> enough fair enough um, if are you a text or call person? Oh, text for sure. Okay, yeah, I I get blasted on that constantly. You're a call person. Oh God, that stupid Geico commercial where he talks about <laughs> nine out of ten things can be handled with the text. Uh -huh. I swear, I think that's geared towards me. Yes, I'm a call person. Anyone knows me knows I'm a call person. Um, and then last thing, if you weren't teaching and coaching, what would you do? I would probably be working with animals. I got a huge soft spot for dogs, um, and they can't talk to you like teenagers can. So. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Coach, thank you so much. Um, I'm super excited about the partnership that we have this year. For those that don't know, um, we're going to be doing a couple different things with Yonker Girls Basketball. Um, we're going to be kind of circling back kind of before Christmas is kind of almost like a midway point. Um, we'll do a player of the game interview, which will be super fun, and kind of talk with Coach about how the season's gone so far. We'll circle back in late January, early February, kind of almost like a season in review and hopefully talking about uh, playoff positioning and all those types of things and again uh, kind of be there for a game and and be able to do a, a player interview of the player of the game so super excited to partner with you um I, I love like i said i love being back in the gym it's so fun and can't wait to watch you guys play cool thank you